morning. I hope you're doing really well. I have got a new kitten. This is Betty. And she is purring as I cuddle her. I'm going to give you a closer look. Betty, say hi. Say hi, Betty. Oh, goodness me. Anyway, this video is not purely about my new kitten, Betty. I'm actually finalising my prep for race around Rwanda. I fly in a couple of days. I've already, should I put you down, darling? Oh, my phone's ringing as well. Um, I have already taken a photo of all of my kit and put it on Instagram. And I mentioned to those of you that follow me there that I would make a video with a full kit breakdown, exactly what everything is, if you wanted one, and you do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've got my bike behind me. I'll talk you through the whole setup and I will go through um, one by one the very few items that I'm taking for race around Rwanda. I am so excited. Okay, so first up the bike. This is my trusty Marin Headlands. You guys know I love this bike. I'm in no hurry to change this. It works for me, but I have made a couple of different uh, adjustments. So up the front, I have put on some gel strips underneath the bar tape, and then I've retaped with supercast tape that I find very, very comfortable. Decided not to go with the aero bars after much debate um, with my physio and my bike fitter and my race partner, Juliana, because we're riding as a pair. So, I mean, you're not gonna be on aero bars when you're drafting someone because you can't break. And also the course in Rwanda is really, really hilly. So when you're going up and down, you're not gonna be on the aero bars. In the end, we decided that it wasn't worth the extra weight. We will find out next week whether that was a wise decision because um, I do have some wrist pain. I think there's a lot of really shonky old cartilage in my wrists from many crashes over the years. Skateboarding, snowboarding, mountain biking, road racing, crit racing, everything I do I've crashed. So my wrists aren't in great shape. Aero bars would be good for that, but not really so good for much of this race. So I'm going without. I switched wheel sponsor, so I've got the WTB CZR i23s on here, nice ride with wide rim, so they're really super comfortable. And after, again, much debate, I've decided to go for the WTB Rattler 45s. Is it the Rattler or the Riddler? Oh, it's the, it is the Riddler, actually. So um, the race is kind of like 60% road and 40% gravel. So um, I didn't want to get something really chunky and really knobbly on here because it wouldn't be so good on the road. But on the other hand, you need some tread because there's a real threat of rain and if it's really muddy, then you don't want anything remotely slick. Um, I went for the 45s because that's what I'm used to riding and I think comfort's really important on long, long races like this. Uh, I guess maybe narrower would be better on the roads, but I mean, you're just not gonna have the perfect setup for every section of the race. You just have to get something that will work for most things. So the rest of it is pretty much the same as it was before. Um, I've just changed the bag setup because obviously I'm going super lightweight because it's a race. So I've got this Apadura long top tube bag, which I really like. Because I've got a small frame, I struggle to put a bag under there and have a water bottle. So this is perfect. It means I've got loads of space for all my bits and bobs. Up here, this is an Apadura. Is it called a snack pouch? I don't know, but it's got a snack tin. So at the moment, I've got a fellow Forte bar, a Cliff bar, some Tailwind carb stuff. I've got some goo gels, some bits and bobs. This will have more snacks in there by the time I leave on Wednesday, but that's it for now. And at the back, I have got the Apadura, uh, why didn't I check what it's called? I will check and write it in the description. Is it the Backcountry Racing Pack or something? This is very small, lightweight and crucially waterproof so all my gear won't get wet. Should we go through the other stuff? Let's go through the other stuff. Along with the other Apadura bags, I have gone for this Apadura racing vest. It's a hydration vest that can hold two liters of water. It's got some pockets around the front so I can put my tracker in there and cash, probably maybe slip my phone in there or something or my camera. I'm not sure. Oh, Betty's playing with the, with the hose. Betty. Don't put a hole in it. I'll also have one or two bead-ons on my bike. Um, I haven't decided which size I'm gonna take. It's 
quite easy to resupply in Rwanda. I think there are towns very, very often, so I probably need to take less water than I normally would on a trip like this. So with two liters on my back, maybe I don't need massive bead-ons on the front. Oh, Betty's just sat on my lap, she's so cute. Look. <laughs> Betty! <laughs> right, Betty, you will have to get off because I can't do anything with you there. But what else have I got? I have got a few bits of tech stuff. I've got memory cards. I've got a um, plug for, where am I going? Rwanda. <laughs> All the different leads, including one for my lights. I've got three um, power banks. These are 10,000 each. Um, so I am denied about getting a dynamo hub, but they are kind of heavy and steal a few watts. And I thought it was easier just to take power banks. So I've got a few, so I don't run out of power. I've got Aftershocks headphones, um, so I can listen to an audio book, but I can still hear traffic and stuff like that. I quite like those. Water purification tabs, probably won't need them, but I just take them anyway. I've got my um, medication, including malaria tablets. A basic, um, very basic, I'm afraid, medical kit. In here, I have got um, antiseptic wipe, Imodium, um, paracetamol, ibuprofen. I'm not planning on taking those unless I really, really have to. I've got some antiseptic um, cream, plasters, um, and other bits and bobs. Tools and stuff. Um, I wish I had a slightly smaller bottle of lube. This is the Silker Synergetic Lube. And I've also got some wipes for wiping my chain because, uh, well, it might rain in Rwanda and yeah, I want my chain to run nicely. In the little pouch, I have got Dyna plug inserts, a multi tool, a chain breaker, spare SRAM axis battery, um, more Dyna plug inserts, tie levers, the Dyna plug, spare brake pads, patches, glue, spare valve. I'd rather have all this stuff than not though. Spare mech hanger, spare chain links, and two tubes. Hopefully, I won't need these because I'm going tubeless, but you never know. When it comes to hygiene, I've kept it super simple toothbrush, toothpaste, chamois cream, pseudo cream, sun cream. So I can see where I'm going when I'm racing at night. I have got this Exposure Diabolo and I have got this React Rear Light. This is the Exposure Strada. I've got that on upside down. Does it matter? Um, <laughs> the Exposure Strada Light. That's got a really super long battery life, super long, and loads of different settings so you can conserve as much energy as possible and really tailor it to your needs. This. It's the Garmin 1030 Solar, amazing bit of kit, brilliant clear screen, great for navigation, and the best bit is obviously that it recharges itself using solar power, and there should be plenty of sun in Rwanda, so it should work pretty well. I uh, used this in Morocco, and I rode, how many days in a row? Five days in a row without charging it once, so I know this works really, really well. I will do a separate review of this if you'd like me to. Um, it was given to me free of charge, but I'm not being paid to do anything with it. I'll just tell you about it if you want me to. So what else? Oh, clothes, I suppose. Actually, I've um, already packed a few of these away. I am going to take a spare pair of shorts. Uh, these are Mission Workshop shorts. Um, not being as fit as I want to be right now, I assume the race might take a bit longer than I want it to so uh, it pays to take care of your nether regions so I will be able to um, rinse out a pair of shorts and put a clean pair on if I was going to do it quicker then I wouldn't need them but you know I've got pants for when I get a little bit of sleep give my bum a break from uh, the padding some spare socks because it is meant to rain Leg warmers, these have got zips around the bottom so I don't have to take my shoes on and off when I want to put them on. Long gloves, because it might be cold and wet at night. Arm warmers, a t-shirt to sleep in, a down jacket. It is an Arc'teryx um, down jacket. What's it called? Ultralight? I mean, it was bloody expensive, but the last one I had for a 10 or 15 years and I loved it. So I just decided to buy myself a new one. It packs down so small. It's really got um, good warmth to weight ratio. So I always take this bike packing. I take it everywhere. It's great. I've got um, a RAB waterproof coat. Neither of these coats are cycling specific. I don't necessarily think they need to be for bike packing. Um, but I know they're reliable and they work really well. They're very, very waterproof, very, very small. So that's really what you want. 
again. I can't remember what it's called. I'm gonna have to do some research and put all the links in the description if you wanna check this stuff out. I've got a buff, are they photochromatic? I don't know, but these are the Smith Bobcat and I like those because they're a bit smaller than the other ones so uh, they suit my face. Uh, this, so that people can see me. My GoPro. Additionally, I might actually take another camera. I've got my trusty Lake gravel shoes that have been nicely set up for me with the cleats put on in the right position, i.e. wonky. That helps keep my knee tracking nicely. And finally, um, what I'm gonna be wearing to race is some nice seven mesh cargo bib shorts. They're just so comfy and soft and nice, but also quite supportive. Um, and controversially, I'll be riding in a t-shirt. Now, I know everyone wears jerseys, but uh, I want to wear the t-shirt, so that's what I'm going to do. I've got plenty of pockets in my hydration pack and in my bike packing bag, so I don't think I need extra jersey pockets. I think I'll be fine. Right, I'm going to put all this stuff back in the bike packing bag so you can see where it all fits and see that it's not actually as much, much stuff as it sounds. Now all I need is a space for Betty. Bye.